Hello, welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi. And in this video, I would like to start a new series, a sub-series on the name of God, the four-letter name of God. Okay, the one that you see here on the screen, the four-letter name of God. We've already started a series on the divine names and it is continuing, obviously. Uh, this is a part of that series, a sub-series, you can say. Uh, and uh, there are a couple of other uh, names that I have to cover in the main series, uh, like Elion and Shaddai and other names, I will cover them. Uh, but I'm starting now this sub-series uh, on the four-letter name of God. And this uh, video, part one, is an introduction to it, and I will have a few more videos on this same topic now. This is the four-letter name of God. And what are these letters? We have Yud, He, Vav, He. So again, going back, Yud, He, Vav, He. The second and the third, fourth letters are identical. And the first letter is Yud, the third letter is Vav. Yod He Vav He. That's the that's the name. How do we pronounce? We'll talk about the pronunciation later on. For now, just remember these are for the four letters, and in English we can write it as Y H V H. Now, um, there are some who pronounce this third letter as Wow, uh, which is uh, you know starts with W, not V, not Vav but wow uh, so um if that be the case then uh, we have w y h w h basically i go with the first option of using the letter vav uh, and uh, pronounce it as v uh, for some good reasons uh, i will take up this topic between the difference between these two variants uh, later on and see which one is correct or which one is more probably correct etc okay that is beyond the scope for now why is this topic important why do we need to focus on the name of the lord because first of all uh yudhe vavhe is your creator yudhe vavhe is your creator is my creator no matter who you are no matter what religion you belong to no matter where you're born doesn't matter as you are long as long as you're a human uh, in fact not just human of course even animals and plants everything the whole world is created by him if you're a human uh, you are made in his image and you uh, he is your creator you he is your creator okay um, and uh, let's read this uh, verse in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul in Hebrew Vayitzer Adonai Elohim et ha Adam afar min ha Adama Vayipach ba'apav nishmat chayim vayehi ha Adam le nefesh chaya Okay, so the man became a nefesh chaya, a living soul. What he did is, he, yudhe vauhe, that's the Lord in English, translated with a capital letter L-O-R-D in the King James Bible and many other English Bibles. He formed man. The verb form, we'll talk about the verb form shortly, is yotzer is form, formed, and here this phrase is, uh, is, is this word is vayitzer. And he formed. That's what it means. Why it's there. And there is an extra letter, extra yod here. Um, very interestingly, it's not supposed to be there because this in the spelling, only the first, second, and the uh, fourth and the fifth letters are sufficient. You don't need this letter. This letter is deliberately added, uh, I think, uh, for only this purpose in this verse. And any, you know, nowhere else this is there. Uh, you know, in, in 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 relation to the creation of animals, etc., the next in the next or following verses in the same chapter, that is not there. It's only for the men, uh, because man is created in the image of God. Now, not only 
because Yudhe Vavhe is your creator, but because Yudhe Vavhe is your father. Havi is our father, but now, O oh Lord, thou art our father, and we are the clay, and thou art our potter, and we are all the work of thy hand. If you read it in Hebrew here, we are Adonai Avinu. You, O Yudhe Vavhe, O Lord, are our father, Avinu. Ata Anachnu Hakhomer. We are the clay. Homer means uh, the clay. Um, well, there is another Homer, uh, which is a donkey. But this is a Homer, is a clay. Ve Ata Yots Yotsrenu. Yotsrenu. Thou and thou, our potter. Our potter. So here. Yotsrenu is you are our Yotser, so you are our uh, our former, the one who formed. That's the word is being used here, Yotsrenu. And so here, potter is the former. So we have different kinds of pots, you see. Um, all of these are made with clay, but what makes one different from the other? There is an idea, the idea of the shape, the intricacy of the shape and the purpose for which that vessel is made. Because not every vessel, this vessel for whatever purpose is not is, is made, is not made, is not made for the work that this is supposed to do and vice versa. For example, this, you know, does something that this can't do. But they're all the clay. Let's go back. We are the clay, thou art the potter, Yotsrenu. And so, that is how he's our father. So, the idea and the purpose and the shape and the design comes from him that forms the matter into the shape, intricate shape we are in. You might think, well, I mean, we are not like this, like the pots. Look at the nature, as just as an example, the potter has to, with the hands he has to make. But I will give you, you can Google Cladney plates, C-H-L-A-D-N-I plates. If you, there's a vibrating plates at different frequencies, if you sprinkle some salt or some chalk powder or something like that, it arranges into these beautiful patterns. Nobody has to pull these particles into that place like the potter does. The form automatically comes into existence because of the vibrating pattern underneath. This is one way of forming, you see, the, the, the form, because there is a field underneath and that field automatically, um, you know, brings the matter together where it is supposed to be brought and a, and a pattern is formed, a form is formed. Well, if you look at the nature, beautiful forms are there this is just a butterfly i think this is a you know is a zoomed uh, thing this one on the left is the lung cells these are lung cells i don't know if this is the black fungus uh, kind of lung lung cells or the actual lung cells i basically googled and got a lung cells here just to show as an example look at the intricate pattern you can look at uh, these patterns of uh, uh, the pattern of the eye the pattern of various organs etc they are all forms so it is not just the outer form of man as in just the outer form in this particular vessel but he is our f uh, our yotzer yotzreno the potter who forms intricate patterns and so the matter is matter is common everywhere but whether that pattern that is how he is our father Yodhe and we call him Adonai. Adonai. Okay, this is how it is, Adonai is written. You know, this name is actually not pronounced as Adonai. The actual pronunciation is not Adonai. We say Adonai. That's all. You look at the name and say Adonai. Okay. Also, Jews say Hashem. It's Hashem. We'll talk about the pronunciation of the name, actual pronunciation of the name, or possible pronunciations of the name uh, in a separate video but you can say Adonai and you can say Hashem. Now the first occurrence of the name Yudhe Vavhe is in Genesis 2-4. It doesn't occur in Genesis chapter 1 but, but in the second chapter, chapter 2 verse 4. These are the generations of heavens 
uh, and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. The Lord in our capitals is referring to Yudhevahe. Elle toledot ha shamaim veha ares behi baram bayom asot adona elohim eres vashamaim. So that's the text. Adonai is here. Yudhevahe is here. And this is the first occurrence. This word occurs 6828 times. 6828 times. Now, the actual um, numerical values of the letters are this. Yud is 10, He is 5, and 6 and 5. You say 10, 6, 5, 10, 5, 6, 5. He is 5, Wav is 6, and He is 5. So 10, 5, 6, 5, you can say at least the letter places, the place values of the letters. Uh, but it doesn't correspond to anything. But one thing that I see interesting is the second and the fourth letters are repeated. You see, just as in the name, uh, the second letter He and the fourth letter He. Here also we have the second digit is 8 and the fourth digit is 8, although it doesn't correspond quite well. Well, I was wondering what may be the significance of it. This is the number of times the Lord's name appears. Now, I, I can't say fully now, but uh, just a quick clue is that uh, the Lord's name, the total of that name is 26. So 10, 5, 6, 5, that's 26. If you say 26, you have the 2 and 6 here. Add 2 plus 6, you get 8. And that's the 8 that is repeated. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what, what has it got to do with it? Uh, I, I can't really say. Just don't worry about it for now. So we just got 6, 8, 2, 8 times um, the, the name appears in the Tanakh. Where? Where is the question? Well, all over the Bible, except uh, in a few places. Uh, we will talk about it. Uh, but the most frequent locations are in Jeremiah, Psalms, and Deuteronomy. Now, these books are, are written in the order of the Christian Bible. Okay, Genesis to Malachi, whereas the um, a Jewish Bible ends with the Chronicles, ends with the Chronicles, and it is in a different order, only 24 books, not 39 books, uh, because some of them are merged, for example, Samuel and Kings and Chronicles, they're, they're, they're merged, Chronicle, both 1 and 2 Chronicles are merged, and therefore, if you look in a Jewish Bible, then the first is Jeremiah, second is Psalms, and the third will be, not Deuteronomy, but Chronicles, it occurs in the end, it's a sum of 1st Chronicles and 2nd Chronicles. Okay, that's the third. But the first is still Jeremiah uh, and the second is Psalms. Okay, that's the most, this is where the Lord's name occurs most frequently. But almost in every book it occurs. Interestingly, there are three books where the Lord's name doesn't occur. The book of Esther. Everyone knows the book of Esther doesn't have the name of God in it. Well, when we say the name of God, we are saying that not only Yudhe Vavhe, but also Elohim. There is no name G-O-D or Y-H-V-H -H or L-O-R-D in capital in Esther at all. Whereas um, in Ecclesiastes, God is mentioned. Elohim is mentioned, but no Yudhe Vavhe. Okay? Uh, the view is from under the sun. Uh, and uh, the man under the sun. That's the man under the sun. And for that reason, perhaps uh, the Lord's name, Yudhevah, is not mentioned. Again, you can think about it. What is the significance of it? Song of Songs or Song of Solomon. Elohim is not found. El is not found. Shaddai is not found. There's one thing is found, which is Yah. Y-H. Yah. That's the shorter form. Uh, you know, we have already dealt with that previously. And that name is found, uh, but some, not always translated as Yah, but is maybe as some other translation they have used it. But other than that, Yudhe Vauhe is not found in this book also. Esther, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs. So, the point is that the Lord is our creator, he's our father, and he is the one who gives us form. He's the one who created He's the one who sustains and even destroys. Now, many do not know his name and his name will be known. Any doubts concerning his name will be removed. Ezekiel chapter 38 uh, is the chapter that describes the war Gog Magog. Where in the end of that chapter he says, Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, 
and they shall know that I am the Lord. I am the Lord. What do you mean by they, they will know I am the Lord? If we understand what is the meaning, actual meaning of your Deva, okay, then you will know what does it mean by I am the Lord. Okay, so we'll talk about uh, the meaning of the name in some other video. But for now, let's look at the, the Hebrew text of this uh, particular verse. Vehit gadilti. Vehit gadilti. Vehit kadishti. That is, I will sanctify, I will make my name, uh, make myself holy, or I will sanctify myself. Venodati. La Aina in the eyes of Goim and the nations, Rabim, great nations, many, uh, Rabim, many nations, many great nations. Veyadau ki ani Adonai. Veyadu ki ani Adonai. I am the Lord. Ani Adonai. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you obviously like it and uh, I will come with more videos on the same name Yudhe several uh, videos on this topic interest, interesting insights into the name uh, and also subsequently I will finish the the main series of the divine names including the names Elion and Shaddai etc uh, and I will see you shortly in the next video thank you very much